Dashboard sheets are a specialized sheet type which make it easy for users to build interconnected and screen size responsive dashboards. We have a specialized dashboard ribbon where you can add Excel cubed objects to the report as you need them and you can vary the number of rows and number of columns in the canvas on the right hand side in the task pane. Firstly, let's add a slicer. We will base this on year, so let's pick calendar date from the list of hierarchies and then pick the calendar year member. We will also just show the ones with data. We will add a second slicer beneath that based on promotion. So we'll show all promotions. one level down and also the lowest level of the hierarchy. We can immediately see that two slices are interlinked. So let's add a chart to look at the trend. Initially the chart is created linked to date but showing one level down. We'd like to amend that so we are looking at the month level for the selected year, which we can do very easily by right clicking on the chart object and selecting show task pane. We then choose the descendants at month level. We'll add a second chart type, this time a tree map. We want to split it by geography at the country level and we'll then have an internal split within that for product showing category. We'd like the size of the title to be the sales amount and the colour of the tile to be the discount percentage. And for high discount percentage we'd like to see red rather than blue so we'll flip or reverse the colour scale. And here we can insert the tree map and when I click an object, everything else will update in sync still. For the last piece of this initial dashboard, we will insert a grid. So I select the vacant area, choose grid, which brings up the grid designer. We'll put date onto columns, reseller onto rows, and we'll choose all resellers and one level down. So when I now choose a date, it's all still linked. We may want to see a breakdown by the month for the selected year. So let's edit the grid and change the selection to show descendants at month level. So the dashboard environment has a design mode, which we are currently in, and also a runtime mode, which I'll switch into now. You can change the screen size, and as you can see, when the screen size changes, the dashboard objects change to fit the screen. If I now make the screen smaller, you'll see everything will shrink to fit the available screen size. For the grid, I'm able to use scroll bars. And if I drill into the grid, I will have scroll bars as required on the right hand side and also along the bottom. When this is published to Excel Cute Web, which is a very simple process that is available to view in a separate video, screen resizing becomes even more important. So we have built a dynamic and responsive report without having to initiate lots of manual joins or any complexity that is completely interconnected, where everything is updating in sync as I choose the various elements.